Hi everyone, today I'm going to share with you my five favorite keys to living a healthy, spiritual, good life. Number one, everyone knows the Pasuk from Baikra, Yahavta Lirayach Kamocha. It's even on a mountain in the north of Israel near Tzvat. This Pasuk reminds us of how we need a tree and love others. But first, it reminds us how crucial it is to love ourselves. Things get tricky sometimes, and we may feel bad about what we've done, but we can never forget the spark and the shum within us is perfect, and how amazing each one of us is. Yes, we need to love and take care of others, but first, we need to love and take care of ourselves. Number two, life is a roller coaster. There are always scary things that, that come up. Sometimes they're big, like moving somewhere else. Sometimes they're small, like taking a test. Different things are bigger or smaller for different people. But the trick is not to be afraid. We need to lean into the fear and do it anyway. Rabbi Nachman from Breslau teaches us that the whole wide world is a very narrow bridge. And the key is not to go off the bridge and run away, widen the road, or dwell in fear. The key is actually to trust the Hashem and not be afraid. <laughs> Number three. When you want something from your parents, is the best way to cry, beg, and complain that you don't have it? No. The best way is to be grateful and show what you do have. We thank Hashem for everything we have and are so grateful for every miracle shown to us each day. And then this way, Hashem will continue to shower blessings upon us. Number four, people try to bring us down. People say things that may hurt us or make us feel bad. But just because someone says something doesn't make it true. We decide what enters our confidence box inside us. Have you ever seen those tablecloths made of polyester? Whoa. When, you, when liquid spills on them, you can just brush it right off. Nothing gets absorbed. We can wear a tablecloth like this and decide what gets absorbed. We can't control other people, but we can control ourselves. Last but not least, number five. You know what the words abracadabra means? Abracadabra has the show regime create with words. I create with my words. We associate these words with magic. And the truth is, they are magic. Our words are magic. What we tell other people and what we tell ourselves is what we end up creating. Just like Hashem created the world with His words, we create our own world with our own words. Abracadabra! Keeping these five ideas in mind will help us to live a physically, spiritually rich life. Hope you enjoyed and learned a lot.